Europa, a cold, distant, seemingly lonely place, full of rumor, speculation, and mystery. Long has there been an interdict, a vanguard sanction against going there, but I'm sure you've heard it, the call. Whispers, rumors, and reports that something is amassing on Europa, and given the desperate need for power and information we have, with the pyramids in our system, the call is even louder. Welcome back, Guardians, to another Embrace Destiny video. Kaz, PhD here, and today we are starting an analysis into the cold, Jovian moon of Europa. As always, timestamps and description can be found below, if you want or need to jump to the information most relevant for you. This is intended to be the first in a series of videos preparing us to journey beyond light. Given how busy we all are with the evacuation of certain planets in our system, I have chosen to adopt a very straightforward production process for these reports. Time, not flash, is of the essence. Not long ago, I received a communique from none other than the Exo Stranger. For any of you who are new, or whose paths have never crossed the Strangers, she is a mysterious figure who always seems to show up at the most crucial time. We'll speak more of her later, but the short version is, if she is here, something big is happening. The first message I received was a redacted Vanguard report. In it, 13 sections discussing Europa and whether or not Guardians should be allowed to travel there. The report was written by Agent CHA319, otherwise known as Chao Ko Yong, a hidden agent working closely with Ikora Ray, who our Hunter and v Warlock friends may recall if they've ever inspected the lore inscribed within their Vesper of Radius or Dragon Shadow armor. In any case, the report begins with the original interdict on Europa, established by the Awoken. Prior to the Taken War, the Reef maintained an interdict upon the poorly navigable Jovian moons. The section goes on to say that, since the Taken War, and the near decimation of the Awoken fleet, the interdict has failed. Guardians have been exploring these moons at length, most notably Io in particular. However, as the agent reported, Europa still remains under interdict, but not by the Awoken, rather by the Vanguard. Next, the agent states that she has been asked to review this interdiction and its necessity. She notes that all files on Europa are heavily redacted, and that this alone would be enough to inspire most Guardians to go. We chase secrets, mysteries, and monsters for a living, after all. Section 3 describes the environment of Europa. First, the radiation, intense enough to, quote, mangle both flesh and machinery, end quote. Temperatures never more than 50 Kelvin at the poles, and no more than 110 Kelvin at the equator. The moon was never terraformed by the traveler, has no proper atmosphere, and features strong tidal stress due to Jupiter's intense gravity. However, as the agent puts it, risk of death alone cannot justify a no-landing edict, Guardians themselves are not immortal, but with their ghosts and their light, we are effectively so. Section 4 describes the subcrustal ocean. While Europa is only 0.02% the volume of Earth, most of that volume is ocean. Golden Age technology may have been able to traverse its depths, but that knowledge has been lost for some time. Sections 5 and 6 are where things become really interesting. In orbit around Europa, the agent found a Golden Age heavily armed platform. It uses Hall Effect or similar propulsion to maintain its orbit and is still quite active, rapidly engaging against any vessel that comes too close. Curiously, ships of the Eon series are not as rapidly engaged, but all jump ships, being rare and valuable, are advised to keep their distance. Next, flybys have observed a Golden Age compound bearing Clovis Bray insignia. Surrounding it seems to be the carcasses of thousands of Vex. Stranger still, there appears to be no sign of major Vex construction, suggesting an invasion force rather than a colonization effort. In Section 7, the agent details her coordination with Paladin Kamala Rior of the Reef. Paladin Rior, who once made a request to the Guardians in the Tower to help aid the Reef, who was met with support from Zavala and the Vanguard, provided the agent with equipment to detect high physics measurements. 
Using this, the agent was able to detect incredibly high levels normally attributed to the Nine. As the Nine's influence seems to follow planetary masses, it is no surprise that levels would be high around Jupiter, but they seem higher still focused on Europa. The agent speculates about Xur's possible involvement, given the speculation that Xur himself is a benign manifestation built on a Jovian colonist. In Section 8, the agent states there are no signs of Ahamkara, no signs of those reality-shaping magic wish dragons as some are likely to call them. Section 9 is a perfect mixture of news bringing both light and darkness to me. Mithrax, aka Agent VIP number 3987, has relayed reports of a no-go area around the Golden Age station. While Europa has been a popular refueling site for the Fallen for some time, they have noted this taboo area as, quote, something that cannot be stolen from, end quote. These words bring the darkness I mentioned quite literally, as this language is similar to how the Elixni speak of the darkness. Section 10 continues the path to disturbing, reminding the vanguard of the dreams many exos face. Found in old journals and in the dark recesses of many exo minds, memories of Jupiter in the sky and ice on the ground persist. Europa could be the origin of this phenomenon, but these nightmares appear as old as exos themselves. Sections 11 and 12 feature the agent's doubts and trepidation concerning Europa. Her instruments cannot get a clear reading too close to the moon, and all of these observations bring a strong sense of foreboding. Finally, in section 13, the agent suggests that Europa's interdiction be lifted. While dangerous and mysterious, the agent states that this should not stand in the way of knowledge and progress. We need to know what is happening on our very borders, especially if there appears to be greater dangers building within. However, a brief response from Warlock Vanguard Ikora Ray stated that the interdict will not be lifted due to, quote, compartmentalized information, end quote. Whatever the Vanguard knows is enough to warrant keeping the interdiction closed for now. While a short report, there is a lot to unpack here. The universe is a dangerous place. Nothing new, nothing changed. Despite efforts by the Guardians, Field Scouts, civilian patrols, and our allies in the reef and elsewhere, the system is full of dangers, both natural and driven by nefarious forces. However, Europa seems particularly dangerous. Environmental conditions worse than we have seen in a long time, far from the desolation we see on Luna or Io, for example, and surrounded by mystery after mystery. Why are energy readings associated with the Nine so high around this moon? What was Clovis Bray doing there, and how and why is the orbital platform so active? What is this fallen taboo, no-go zone, and what were the Vex doing there? Finally, what does the Vanguard know that neither you, I, nor Agent CHA319 doesn't? I understand the need for compartmentalized information. The Vanguard, while seemingly static and maybe non-productive, are coordinating research, defense, and now evacuation of numerous strike teams, locations, and planets at once. However, the pyramids, as threatening as they loom, have not made a move, and our research over this season, working with Eris Morn, suggests a communication being established, rather than an invasion. If that's the case, we should really try to learn more about what is going on in Europa. And as common as it may be to simply disregard the Vanguard, I think we need to convince them to work with us on this one. In any case, neither you nor I will be left waiting for answers for long, because the Vanguard report was not the only thing the Exo Stranger left me. No, she also left me a decrypted copy of Clovis Bray's personal logs. And trust me, things only become more interesting from here. Unfortunately, this is where I'll have to leave you for now. My connection to the van net is wearing thin, as I am currently delving deep into the arcology to retrieve some old files on Clovis Bray and Golden Age Tech. Thank you all for listening. Be sure to set your alerts so your ghosts can notify you when my next report is out. And as always, be safe, be kind, and I'll see you all next time, Guardians. Bye now.